Hector, playing these days in midfield, is one of three players in this unchanged Derby side who played in the famous First Division Championship days. The others are number four, Steve Powell, and number five, Roy McFarland. Two players missing through suspension, Alan Ramage and David Swindlehurst. Luton are forced to make two changes. Mark Azelwood and Tony Grealish both injured. So Wayne Turner gets his first game of the season at number four, although he'll play left back. And Lil Cuchillo at number 10 gets his second game of the season in midfield. And a nice welcome back today for the Derby manager, Colin Addison, who's been away from the club for six weeks with an attack of shingles. Referee David Allison of Lancaster. Two clubs here, Luton wearing the orange shirts and Derby in white, who know that two points today would put them bang in the promotion picture. Derby are one point behind second place, and Luton are two points behind Derby at the start of this match. That's Alan Viley, who's modelled himself on Dennis Law and looks very much like him. Chilo with the throw for Luton. On by West. It's Keith Osgood. Roy McFarland looking for Hector. Wilson driven across by Steve Fowl to Ensign. This is Wilson. Bailey. And that was Barry Powell. First of all by Anson, Bailey getting in a touch, and the ball coming on the volley to number seven, Barry Powell, but high and wide. Here's Godfrey Ingram to Ricky Hill, offside against Cuchillo. Just keep an eye on Ricky Hill, number seven for Luton. Very talented player in midfield. Looking for Wilson. In the way was Donaghy for Luton. Wilson's challenge, a good one. There's Buckley, former Luton player. And it was Buckley who was fouled by Steve. on away by Price Wilson is in there with the overhead kick oh it's great what a fantastic goal by Kevin Wilson beautifully taken Riley flicked the ball on Paul Price with the header out and an overhead kick by Kevin Wilson makes it 1-0 to Derby and this young man signed from Southern League Banbury for £10,000 last season. That gives him five goals in the last 11 games. And he won't have enjoyed one any more than that, I'm sure. Wilson only playing because of the suspension of Swindlehurst. But if he finishes like that, he'll have a regular place. That was Donaghy. Really was a piece of true continental skill, that. Looks for Wilson. Hill on the far side. And now is Kevin Hector for Derby. Bailey making himself a target. Nice layoff too from the centre forward to Paul Emson. Really nice touch by Alan Bailey that. 
looks at. That's good. Emery. Harry Powell. Emery's ball in. Here's Barry Powell again. Oh, he's Wilson again. Shot was blocked by Bryce. Back in by Steve to offside. Offside Hector. But Kevin Wilson played a part again. In fact, he put Derby one up last week at Bolton in the early in the game, in the very first minute on that occasion. And Derby lost 3-1. He'll be hoping that today's goal starts them off onto something rather better. That one from Hector was disallowed for offside. Donaghy. Stevens. and Godfrey Ingram, who's been in such good scoring form recently, would have hoped to have hit the target from there. Just beginning to fulfil the potential now, Ingram, that he showed as a 15-year-old England schoolboy international. That's good. to take the kick for Derby. Away by Hill as far as Powell, Hector, Emson. Wilson's flick on. Oh, that comes in the end to Osgood. Barry Powell is both. Well, that could have been a second goal for Derby. Could even on the break end up as an equaliser for Luton. Here's Steed. Looking for Ingram, it came off Steve Powell, who made tremendous strides to get back. It was curious that last derby attack, because Keith Osgood was coming in on the cross, and I think Bailey's deflection may have actually taken it away from him. <laughs> Half-time, derby lead by one goal to nil, and what a goal it was. Scored by Kevin Wilson, and when match of the day last came here, we saw a spectacular effort from Ian Edwards of Wrexham. Well, today we've seen another brilliant goal, this time by Kevin Wilson of Derby County. So, Derby start the second half. Luton, in fact, have taken five points from their last three away games. We're hoping to keep that sequence going, but they'll have to do so by coming from behind if they achieve it. Here's Hill. Had a good first half, Ricky Hill, and he was impeded there. David Fleet, the Luton manager, done well with this squad over the last couple of seasons, but hoping to see them make the important promotion push now. Luton were pacemakers for much of last year in the top three and finished sixth. Here's Emery. Here's Steve Powell. Barry Powell. Barry Powell to Bailey. And spinning awkwardly off Price for the corner. It'll be Barry Powell to take the kick. Awkward Osgood on and a volley by Riley and comes off the line. And Luton had men back for which you give them credit in the right place to block it. But Riley will feel unlucky. Keith Osgood at the near post flicked it on. Riley met it on the full, but the cover was there. Colin Addison must be feeling his side could so easily have been two goals up. Important that Derby don't let their grip on this match slacken because Luton have shown already that they've got the ability to come forward and do something about it. This is Ricky Hill.
16. Stevens. McFarlane to Ensign. Finally, Hector is just inside it. A break on the right was Barry Powell. That was who Hector was looking for. Instead, it's Luton with Moss. Steen, West. Hill trying to return it to Steen. Ingram's come near post. McFarlane didn't make it. He flexed his got in. Moss's shot deflected past the goalkeeper. David Moss will claim it. It was a deflection. But it's one all. Steen who put the cross in first. It came free to David Moss who struck it and it immediately hit a derby foot. It may have been Emery. But it certainly flew past Jones. And that's one all. And Luton back in business early in the second half. Turning it in. Steve Powell, Buckley. McFarlane. Emerson. Buckley. McFarlane. Finally leaning a little bit there. And over on the left wing, David Moss turning on the kind of form in the last few minutes that made him Luton's top scorer last season. He's found Steen. Steve Powell, now it's Moss. Oh, and well turned on by Steen, and Steen could get the return here. Offside. Steen played the first ball into Cuchillo. When he went for the return, he was offside. second division promotion picture or will Derby come again with Barry Powell by Lee price away here's Emery and now it's Barry Powell and Barry Powell again by Lee Hector Barcos
2-2 now. Barry Powell and Riley combining on the right. The ball play to the far post. And Kevin Hector up with the defenders. And 2-2. and the 263rd of his league career. What a match we've got here now, a second division game which has really come to life. Oh, well played, Barry Powell. Alan Wiley. Awkward for Findlay. like Dennis Law or Rod Stewart or whoever you like he's a handful for any defence Byerly all over the place twisting and turning and causing the goalkeeper there another moment of anxiety although maybe he looks back and would have preferred the cross to have been pulled further back Barland Steve Buckley to Emerson. That's a good ball to Bailey. And it was Price who challenged him, and I wonder if that's a foul. Marlon's up there, Steve Powell's up there, Bailey! And the goalkeeper just hung on, otherwise Wilson would have scored. But Marlon up there first, Steve Powell in there, Riley's volley, and it's a good thing Findlay held that, because look where Wilson was, just waiting to snap up the rebound. Very good skill from Godfrey Ingram. Little ball chipped into West. Moss is out on the left wing, and that could spell trouble for Derby. It nearly did. This fellow strikes the ball so well, and Roger Jones was down smartly at his near post.
you've got seven players in there. If Luton break out, this could go 3-2 either way at the moment. Now, by Wayne Turner and Steve Emery. Well, just for a few minutes, it's like... The early 70s here at the baseball ground. The crowd responding to a fine match. Here's Keith Osgood, here's Steve Emery with the shot. Well worth an effort from there too by the former Hereford player, Steve Emery. And here's Brian Steen for Luke. Good ball, Moss. Pachillo's over on the left wing. This is still Moss, Steen, and Moss unable to collect the return. And Emery for Dyer. We're in the last minute of normal time. And there won't be much time for stoppages because the game just doesn't seem to stop. Hector. Oscar. Number two, Emery. Oh, good. Running by Barry Powell. Look at the space he found. And nearly an old goal by Paul Price. Well, that would have <laughs> absolutely gapped. A match in which you don't know what's coming next. David Fleet <laughs> blowing it with relief, I should think, that the game is nearly over. It's a manager's nightmare, but it's a delight for the crowd. And as the referee blows and the crowd applaud, if we saw games like that every week, in terms of entertainment, they'd pack the grounds again. Because this match, for the neutral, had just about everything. So many goal-scoring chances. Derby with Kevin Wilson scoring a goal which may be a contender for goal of the season. And funnily enough, we saw one earlier on this ground this season scored by Edwards of Wrexham, which was in the same category. Luton then went ahead and Derby came back again with the final score, 2-2, and everybody getting their breath back. Well, that result keeps both teams in touch with the leaders. The top three all did well, but perhaps Notts County's win at Sheffield Wednesday was the most spectacular because West Ham's 5-0 win over Preston only underlined that they're in a different class from the rest. Grimsby and Blackburn also won, leaving Swansea and Sheffield Wednesday as the only losers in the top ten.